the apostles. Philip went to the town of Samaria and told the people about Christ. They crowded around Philip because they were eager to hear what he was saying and to see him work miracles. Many people with evil spirits were healed, and the spirits went out of them with a shout. A lot of crippled and lame people were also healed. Everyone in that city was very glad because of what was happening. When the apostles in Jerusalem heard that some people in Samaria had accepted God's message, they sent Peter and John. When the two apostles arrived, they prayed that the people would be given the Holy Spirit. Before this, the Holy Spirit had not been given to anyone in Samaria, though some of them had been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Peter and John then placed their hands on everyone who had faith in the Lord, and they were given the Holy Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Tell everyone on this earth to shout praises to God. Sing about his glorious name. Honor him with praises. Say to God, everything you do is fearsome. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. You are worshiped by everyone. We all sing praises to you. Come and see the fearsome things our God has done. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. All who worship God, come here and listen. I will tell you everything God has done for me. Let's praise God. He listened when I prayed and he is always kind. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me, you will do as I command. Then I will ask the Father to send you the Holy Spirit, who will help you and always be with you. The Spirit will show you what is true. The people of this world cannot accept the Spirit because they do not see or know him. But you know the Spirit who is with you and will keep on living in you. I will not leave you like orphans. I will come back to you. In a little while, the people of this world will not be able to see me, but you will see me. And because I live, you will live. Then you will know that I am one with the Father. You will know that I am one, that you are one with me and I am one with you. If you love me, you will do what I have said, and my Father will love you. I will also love you and show you what I am like. The Gospel of the Lord. As we near the end of this Easter time, Jesus makes a tremendous promise in today's Gospel. For six weeks now, it's the sixth Sunday of Easter, we've been celebrating how he has risen from the dead and he's appearing to the apostles and he's being known to them in the breaking of the bread and he's sending them to spread the good news to all the world. But now he's getting ready to ascend back into heaven and his friends, his disciples are sad and frightened and he tells them not to be afraid, not to be frightened. And he says, although the world will not see me, you will continue to see me. So how can we continue to see Jesus? Well, we can see images of him, like in our beautiful risen Christ statue. We can hear his word as he speaks to us through the gospel, like the one I just read. He comes to us in all the other sacraments. In today's first reading, we heard how baptism and confirmation 
holy orders in the presence of the first apostles, the first bishops, holy orders is there. It seems even forgiveness of sins is in there and anointing of the sick because a lot of people are getting cured. And so we see the result of Jesus being present, but him we do not see. And of course, we see him sort of in the breaking of the bread. How can I say then we're seeing him if we're not seeing him? Well, that's where the gift of the Holy Spirit comes in. God said he will help us to believe all the things that God promises us. Jesus said, if you love me, I will send you a helper and that help you, helper will help you understand how I am still with you, which means we cannot do it alone. It's why it is so important that at least once a week we come together to a place like this so that by hearing his word, by hearing him see, speak, by seeing him act through priests like me, by sharing in the breaking of the bread, by the songs we sing together, by all the things we do as a community, as a church, all these ways help us to remember that Jesus is indeed risen and is among us, and he will always help those who love him. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Knowing that God will hear our prayers, we pray in confidence for all that we need. When I say, we pray, you say, Lord, hear our prayer. May the day quickly come when all believers are united in praise of the one true God. May everyone seek to understand those who are different from themselves. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. May every person be treated with respect and dignity as a beloved child of God. May all in the military and missions and their loved ones be safe and secure. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. May the faith and joy of believers attract unbelievers into God's loving arms and into his church. May our parish be blessed with an increase in priests, deacons, brothers, and sisters. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. May those on the verge of giving up find strength and those filled with doubts be filled with faith. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. If you have people you would like to pray for, please do that now. For these intentions and those listed in our parish prayer book, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we know you hear and answer us whenever we call upon you. With the help of your Holy Spirit, may we hear and answer you too whenever you call upon us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.